In January, I was ready for a move out of Indiana and I had traveled all around, but settled on Denver. And it wasn't really for any particular reason or even a job, it just felt right. And I think that's all that really mattered. So I started looking for apartments and found this great one. Then in February, I officially moved into this place where I got to furnish everything brand new and got my dartboard up and my snowboard up. Uh, but I think I actually picked this place because of the kitchen. And I just got a brand new walk, so I'm pretty excited to use that. For the rest of my spot, got the bedroom in here. And then the bathroom was actually really tough. What does a guy really need to furnish this for himself? Do I need a toothbrush holder? Then in March, I was job hunting the whole time and exploring my new neighborhood. And I took this walk to Cheeseman Park pretty much every day. So it's a snowy day today. But last year, I swear I would come here and walk around these laps all the way around. And I tried reading, pretty much second reading, and there's always 100 dogs. In April, I landed a job as an account manager for a pretty awesome medical software company. And from my desk, I can see downtown and the mountains, which I always thought was pretty cool. And then in May, my dad came out to see Paul Simon on his farewell tour. And I went to my first of many Red Rock shows. Odessa is beautiful. Uh, but I think my favorite was probably seeing Lewis Child perform for the first time there. Play Red Rocks is a big deal for any musician. And it's really because of you guys that we can do that. And I, I, I couldn't be more thankful for you guys. In June, I made it back for my fifth Bonnaroo. Uh, I get to add my bracelet to the wall back there. And we finally beat the heat. Me and my buddy Tony rented a minivan and just slept the AC on. And then when I got back from that, Regan, who was actually my RA in Australia, came and visited. And we went to Moab, Utah to see the Arches National Park. That is amazing. And in July, I flew home for my dad's 50th birthday party, where I also found out that my mom bought her dream car, uh, 1994 Dodge Viper Blue with two white stripes. My parents have both worked really hard. And it's awesome to see that my mom has achieved that. In August, I climbed my first 14er, which is just summiting a 14,000 foot mountain. I was incredibly underprepared, and I think I was full on hallucinating by the time we got back to the car. My hands were like twice this big. They were full on sausages. In September, my favorite little Londoner, Neve, came out to visit, which was awesome. Took her around the state and to a Red Rock show. I also went to Grand Doozy, which was a new music festival here in Denver, where I saw Florence the Machine. And out of all the shows I went to, I think she was my favorite of the year. She is amazing. <laughs> October, my mom visited and we went on little day-long road trips all over the state and I also took her to an EDM show. We went to see the Glitch Mob, but more importantly, Elohim. She's a stud. Keep an eye on her. Then in November, I got to see two of my best friends growing up get married. That was pretty cool. Then in December, I won the City Cup Darts Tournament. I made a stop-motion film for a guy to propose to his girlfriend with. She said yes. And I was able to snowboard at Vail with Max and Colson while they were out here. And I brought in the new year at a concert with some of my best friends and I couldn't imagine a better night. And last week I turned 25. That brings one full year here in Denver. And over the past year I've played a ton of Fortnite, not much shame about it, and we've been crushing seltzer waters. Uh, yeah, we have consumed a lot of seltzer water and I played a bunch of spike ball matches, I uh, played a bunch of Settlers of Catan, and I'd say over the next year one of my major goals is to meditate and journal a lot more. I think it's just good for overall happiness. And then lastly, I want to make it to South America, finally cross that continent off the list.